Hello everybody, I am back for round three. And once again, I want to thank all of you for your love and continued support. With all of your kind words, I'm liable to get a big head. Oh, wait, too late. I already have a big head. No, admit it, you're getting ready to say the same thing. Anyway, last week I talked about avoiding negative people, or at the very least, coming up with viable strategies for handling their negativity. I received several personal notes letting me know that this really hit home for many of you. Now, whether it's a family member, friend, a coworker, we all have negative forces in our life. Hopefully now you have a plan for managing these people and situations. Now we're going to switch gears again this week to something that's been everywhere over the past 18 months, which is finding your purpose. Now, before I delve into this topic, I'm about to say something profound. Yes, you heard me correctly. I, Rick Sully, am going to say something profound. Which means it's true that if you live long enough, you'll see and hear everything. But on a serious note, let this wash over you. Allow yourself to ponder it for a few moments. Because in my mind, it's the essence of life, of truly living. Are you ready? I believe all people require three things in their lives. A purpose to live for, a self you can live with, and a faith in something bigger than yourself to live by. Over the next several weeks, I will dig deeper into numbers two and three. But today I want to focus on number one, a purpose to live for. Now I suspect many of you have read Starts With Why by Simon Sinek. Maybe you watched his TED Talk, or maybe Rick Warren's Purpose Driven Life is more your speed. It's also possible that you've avoided both of them along with any other discussion of purpose because it scares you to death. Trust me, you aren't alone, as the prospect of finding your true purpose in life scares just about everybody. Maybe I can help. I thought I'd begin by sharing my purpose with you. And then we can go from there. So here it goes. My purpose is to develop a strong connection with people through the use of my life experiences, positivity, and humor. Then to leverage these connections to develop an individual skills while pushing them to achieve their personal, professional, and financial goals with the ultimate objective of helping them uncover their own true purpose. Now keep in mind, your purpose can be as simple and straightforward as to be the best parent I can possibly be for my children. Providing them with love, uh, guidance, and support throughout their lives. Or maybe it's to be an attorney that is singularly focused on serving your clients to the best of your ability. So they are able to successfully return to living their lives. Whatever it is, it has to be yours. Ultimately, it comes down to asking yourself some tough questions, some thought-provoking questions to get your underlying purpose. Now, here are a series of questions to consider as you try to define your purpose. Number one, what are you willing to struggle or fight for? Number two, what inspires you? Inspire comes from the Latin word inspiratio which means loosely to breathe life into. What breathes life into you? Think about what you love doing as a child. Maybe your passion or your purpose isn't there somewhere. What are your innate strengths? What do you do really well? This is important because your purpose is often where your natural abilities meet your personal passion. And number five, the last one, it's a little sad. But if you knew you were going to die a year from today, what would you do and how would you want to be remembered? Living with purpose ultimately means focusing on the things that matter most to you. If you only had a year to live, how would you spend that time? Now, if you don't believe having a time limit helps you uncover your purpose, do yourself a favor and check out the last lecture by Randy Posh on YouTube. 
Posh, a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, was given a terminal pancreatic cancer diagnosis and a month later gave an inspiring and life-changing lecture that has been viewed a remarkable 18 million times. I think it's safe to say that Randy Posh had found his purpose. As you answer these questions, I ask you to think beyond yourself. Think greater than yourself. Think big. Very few people are born knowing their true purpose. It takes time to identify it, to cultivate it. Your ultimate goal in finding your purpose, or your why, as it's sometimes called, is so you can live each day with passion, energy, and excitement. Now that doesn't mean you won't have bad days or struggles, but it does mean you can get back on track easier if you know where those tracks are heading. And lastly, and arguably most importantly, share your purpose. Write down your purpose and live your purpose every single day. Now I'm going to leave you the words, leave you with the words of the poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful. It is to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have make to have made a difference that you have lived and lived well. As always, Thank you so much for listening. And if you like the message today, please click share so others can find their passion too. Have a good evening. And remember, today is a new day.